Hi everyone. Today I will show you how to add custom characters to MD Pro 3. In this video we will add Darth Vader to MD Pro 3. First, extract the downloaded zip file. Then open the free ID list text file and choose one of the unused character IDs to replace. All listed entries have no sound files, except for Barian Alito and Barian Jirag, but have a character picture in the sprite atlas, thus they are perfect to use for new characters. There are 37 in total, 35 without the Barians with existing voice files. For this video, I will use the ID 0711. If you want to add more characters, you either have to replace in-game characters like the NPCs or add them in Unity. Back up the Dual Links NPC name and Dual Links profile files from the MD Pro 3 data folder. Back up the texture underscore assets underscore all, prefab underscore assets underscore all, and sprite chara 003 underscore assets underscore snxxxx underscore 3 underscore 1 bundle files from the MD Pro 3 slash MD Pro 3 underscore data slash standalone Windows 64 slash MD Pro 3 folder. Remember to back up the files with your character ID. Now download UABE Avalonia, FUBAR 2000, and the free encoder pack for FUBAR. Open the Dual Links NPC name file and search for your character ID. Replace the name and save. Then you can open the Dual Links profile file. Copy any entry and paste. Change the character ID to your character and then you can edit the profile text of your character and save. Next we will open the snxxxxpng file with GIMP. This is a template for the character picture you will see in the character selection screen in MD Pro 3. Open a picture you want to use for your character, copy it, and paste it into the snxxxxpng file, then adjust the pasted image to fit and save the file but do not close it yet. Now open the texture assets bundle in UABE. Search for the dual links character sprite atlas file, sax, select it. Click on Plugins and export the texture. Open the exported Dual Links Character Sprite Atlas file, then look at the free ID list text file for the location of the character image to replace. So for ID 0711 we have to replace the Ikth image in the fifth row. Copy the SNXXXX image and paste it into the Sprite Atlas file, then move it to the right place and save the Sprite Atlas file. Select the Sprite Atlas file in UABE, click on Plugins, Edit Texture, and load the modified Sprite Atlas file, then save the texture. Now, in the Assets Info window, save and close. Do the same in the UABE window. Now we will add the character image that is used during duels. You need a 240 by 240 image of your character. Open the SN bundle file in UABE. For this video we use ID 0711, hence we will open the sprite, chara 003 underscore assets underscore SN 0711 underscore 3 underscore 1 bundle file. We will replace the texture the same way we did with the sprite atlas file using the plugins. Then save and close again. With that we have the image files for our character implemented. But it will not show up in the game. For that we have to edit the prefab assets bundle. Open it with UABE and select the characters file in the assets info window. Then click on export dump to export it. After that open the exported characters file in notepad. The file has all characters in the game listed by series, one array for each series. ID is the ID of the character. Setting not ready to 1 will hide the character so that it will not show up in game, so ensure you have it set to 0. Copy any entry and paste it at the end of the series you want your character to show up. In this case, 
We want Darth Vader in the Dual Links slash NPC tab. So we go to the NPC array and increase its size by 1, from 37 to 38 in this case. Then paste the entry at the end of the NPC array, change the number, in this case to 37, and change the ID to your character ID, in this case we use ID 0711. Then save the file. Select the characters file in UABE and import dump the edited characters file. After that save and close the assets info window. Then save and close the bundle file. Copy the texture bundle, prefab bundle, and SN bundle files and paste them into the MD Pro 3 slash MD Pro 3 underscore data slash standalone Windows 64 slash MD Pro 3 folder. Copy the Dual Links NPC name and Dual Links profile files and paste them into the MD Pro 3 data folder. Now for the sound files. You can either use a AI voice generator like fakeou.com or record the voice lines yourself. Open the voice lines MD Pro 3 text file. This is a template file which includes all generic voice lines. First, replace the 0237 with your character ID. In this case 0711. Generate your voice lines and paste the file name from the voice lines and pro text file. For example, for the audio file in which your character says dual, we rename the audio file name to the v0711 underscore 02 underscore 00 underscore 00 underscore 0 from the text file. For Darth Vader, we will use unique voice lines. For that, I have created a text file containing all unique voice lines for Vader. Vader's unique voice lines are for pre-dual speech, after victory, after defeat, and for specific cards. Open the SN0237 and V0237 files. These are the files used by MD Pro 3 to recognize the character voice files. The SN file determines what your character says and the V file determines when your character says it. The included files already contain all the voice lines your character needs and can be used as a template. In both the SN and V files we have to change the character ID, so we replace all 0237 entries with 0711. Now I will add the unique voice lines for Darth Vader. For that, I copy-paste the text from the voice lines Vader text file I created to the SN file. As you can see, for the pre-dual speech I have added 8 audio files, but I want the game to recognize it as 4 different voice lines with 2 audio files each, for that I have to edit the V file later. Then we will add the voice lines for specific cards. The number 13 is for summons, 09 is for monster effect activations, and 08 is for spell and trap activations. So we will add voice lines for the summon and effect of Cosmo Tinkin. The number 37 is used for summoning chants for ritual, fusion, synchro, XYZ, pendulum, and link monsters which will play before the summon sound, number 13. So in this example, we will add a summoning chant for Ally of Justice Cadaster, consisting of two audio files. And we have to add a summon voice line for Cadaster 2. Next we add a voice line for the activation of Cosmotown. In the V file, we edit the number voices section for the first four entries so that each entry will play two audio files instead of only one. 
We do the same for all other entries where we wanted to play two audio files. Since we have only four pre-dual voice lines and the template has five, we have to delete the fifth entry in the before dual section. Now for the specific card voice lines to work, we have to add the Konami ID of the cards we want our character to have voice lines for. We will open the Konami ID file and search for Cosmotown, then we copy the ID of Cosmotown and paste it into the entry of the V file. We do the same for all other cards. Then save the SN and V files. Copy the SN file and paste it to the MD Pro 3 slash data slash locales slash ENUS slash voice folder. Copy the V file and paste it to the MD Pro 3 slash data slash locales slash JAJP slash voice folder. Open FUBAR 2000. Add all audio files you want to use for your character and convert them to AUG Vorbis format. If you use voice lines generated with fake you, I recommend to use processing and equalize the volume by plus 8. Then create a new folder in MD Pro 3 slash sound voice with the character ID of your character. In this case, we have to name the folder V0711. With this, your character should be fully implemented in the game. Now it's time to test the voice in MD Pro 3. Open MD Pro 3 and make sure the character voice function is turned on. Then you can select your character in the character selection screen. Here, we select Vader and for this test we use Bastion Masala as his opponent. Let's see if Darth Vader can beat the mighty water dragon. Your cards may be powerful, but they pale in comparison to the dark side of the Force. Prepare to witness true domination as I crush your hopes and dreams, one card at a time. The outcome of a duel is determined 99% of the time by one's intelligence. I shall prove that to you. Duel! duel. Presenting Hydro Get On! From my hand, I activate a spell. The waters often appear serene, but sudden riptides swallow the earth whole. Come forth, water dragon! There are no errors in my equations. I end my turn. It's my turn. Draw. I activate my spell, Heart of Greed. It allows me to draw two cards from my deck. Now, I activate my spell, Emergency Teleport. I summon Cosmotin Can. Cosmotin Can's effect activates. By the will of the Dark Side, I summon a Destroyer of Worlds. Come forth, Cosmo Dark Destroyer. Cosmo Dark Destroyer's effect activates. Now, I activate my spell, Emergency Teleport. I summon Cosmosaur Troopers. I summon Force Rizometal. In the name of justice, I invoke the power to vanquish. Single summon, ally of Justice Ketastor. From the depths of the galaxy, I summon the ultimate force of the cosmos. Rise, Cosmo Dark Planet. Your pathetic monsters are insignificant next to the power of the force. I activate my spell. Let's battle. I hope you are prepared.
I attack with my monster. Ally of Gustus Ketestel's effect activates. I activate a spell. I hope you are prepared. My monster attacks you directly. No! It's over. Direct attack. Impossible! I won, and I will win again next time. Ugh, my formulas were perfect. What could have gone wrong?